Amp fans, we're back for one more episode of How to Amp. Today, I'm introducing Amp Render, the component that makes fetching and rendering data on the client side even simpler. Amp Render is adaptable. It can fetch data from either a URL, an Amp state variable, or your custom Amp script. Then it renders this data on the page using a mustache template. As always, I'll start by importing the scripts for the components I'll need. Amp render and amp mustache. Next, I'll define my amp render component. I'll point the src attribute at the URL of my JSON file, which we'll take a pause to look at. My data has all my hikes organized by what state they're in. Take a look. For my project to start, I'll only want to pull in hikes from California. I'll jump back over to my HTML file and paste in my amp mustache template. In the template, I specify the exact data I want, hikes, then states, then California. Great, let's see if that rendered my hikes. And wow, that did it. But it doesn't feel right to end the episode that quick. So let me show you just a few other ways to work with AMP Render. AMP Render also exposes the attribute key. I can use this to specify data as well. I'll demonstrate by migrating hikes and state out of AMP mustache and into the key attribute. And just to prove I'm not bluffing, I'll change California to New York. Let's check it out. Amazing, still works. All right, final trick. Instead of nesting my template inside of AMP render, I'm going to reference it using the template attribute. I'll move out my AMP mustache template, and then using the template attribute, I'll reference the AMP mustache template ID from AMP render. Then just for funsies, I'll change New York to Pennsylvania. And awesome still works. Thank you all so much for watching. I sincerely hope this helped you learn how to amp.